welcome to News Click. The business papers have been reporting since 10th of November that state-owned insurer NIC has reported a 50% fall in its net profit at 7,925 crore rupees. How significant is this development? Should the investors and should the government be concerned? Also, should the policyholders in NIC also be concerned? In order to discuss the significance of this news, we spoke to Thomas Franco. He has been with the All India Bank Officers Confederation as he's the former General Secretary of the AIBC and he's also an advisor with the Center for Financial Accountability. Let's go over to him. Thanks very much for joining us, Mr. Franco, for this discussion. You know, the news report said just a couple of days ago on 10th and 11th November, the news is still coming in, that LIC's net profit for the second quarter has dipped by 50%. Now, how serious is this issue and why is it happening? Uh, number one, the uh, newspapers have not, uh, none of the financial newspapers I have read six of them on this issue. None of them have done a real uh, positive analysis. Yes, the profit has gone down by 50%. That is comparative to the two quarters. It is only a comparison between September 2023 and 2024. So, uh, sorry, 2022 and 23. So, that is not an alarming thing which we have to be worried. But what is worrying is the way the LIC is behaving now. After this 3.5% uh, given shareholder uh, share given to the public or the whoever the, uh, the public call, it is a kind of a private players who have got that 3.5% share. And because of that, the policies of the LIC have changed. Number one is that uh, if we see the analysis of the income, the income from the premium has not gone down much. Okay. Especially the new premium, that is the first policy premium, they call it, that has increased. Renewal premium has increased. But what has decreased is only the premium related to the single premium policies which are called the non-participatory policies and one of the non-participatory policy. And these policies are taken by the comparatively better off people. Single premium, the normal uh, people who are the majority policy holders in LIC, they always go for regular premium, monthly, quarterly, like that. Uh, this single premium very few people use and that only those who can afford to give huge amount uh, use that. So that is not a very worrisome issue in my analysis. But what has gone down and is that the other income has gone down. The other income comes from the uh, real estate and uh, their uh, assets which they are holding. You know that LIC has huge properties all over the country. And uh, many of them are rendered out to different agencies. There the income has come down. That is something the LIC could have handled better. And uh, that would have reduced this uh, uh, profit uh, degrees could have been arrested. That is one. Secondly, another thing which is uh, very alarming is that the provision they have given for diminish diminishing value of investments. Okay. That is, they have invested the funds in many things, including Adani Group, where the investment value has gone down now. They would have invested say uh, 1000 crores and today if it has the value is uh, in the market has gone down to 900 crores they have to make a provision on this investment that is the provision they call it provision for diminishing value of investment 
that has increased by uh, 12,441 crores. So are you saying that the LIC is expecting more losses in terms of where it has invested in the in, in corporate India in a sense or in non uh, you know non insurance where the where not not in the areas where it has an interface with customers or policy buyers but in other areas of its business it expects things to get worse uh, we cannot predict that but presently it has affected uh, badly so we don't know exactly where all the investments are that analysis i have not done earlier LIC was investing only on uh, public sector and public services. Very seldom they were in the, the, putting their funds in private sector. Right. Or it used to be less, but now it has increased. That is because of the change in this policy, you know, that uh, do things as per the wishes of the shareholders. Now that you have private shareholders, you want to satisfy them. For that, you try to take uh, risk and put some investment, and that has uh, affected. That is a major cause for this reduction in the profit. But, but still, I would ask that that over 12,000 crores is a very large number. It's a very large figure. So is, yes. that, is that normal? Does LIC uh, or other companies like it around the world, from your experience, is this normal for them to do? Yes, because LIC's investments are huge. I think uh, last it was 24 lakh crores. Now it's closer so to 25 of... lakh crores uh, right now. How much? Now, now it's uh, reportedly closer to 35 lakh crores. Right, 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 right. The figures I was quoting was related to the time when this shareholders uh, sharing, share issue was done. So yes. now, uh, yes. So that's a huge amount out of that, uh, some value going down. It can go always up and down. We have seen even in the case of uh, IDBA, where uh, LIC has invested a huge amount. The value went down, but now it has gone up. And LIC took over the IDBA's management and it has done well. Because of that, IDBA is doing well, but unfortunately, the government is asking to once again give up the share and uh, sell it to private sector. That's the wrong policy. See, the basic problem has started because of the policy change. The LIC was created for the purpose of helping the larger majority in this country who do not have any social security. That's right. And LIC had been always concentrating only on policies which will help the middle class, upper middle class, lower middle class, and the poor. Poor are the majority, actually. The amount might be less, but number of policies, if you see, it is these LIC agents who go door to door and canvas from the ordinary people, which constituted the major uh, uh, policy uh, premium, which was being earned by the LIC. And uh, that is why the government at that time itself decided that uh, in the name of bonus, bonus, the profit will be shared with the policy. And but today, slowly, everything has shifted, which we had predicted when this share issue came, that this is what is likely to happen to satisfy the shareholders who are, uh, who are actually minority shareholders. But to satisfy them, you keep changing the policy. And because of that, the non-profit sharing policy has increased and profit sharing policies have reduced. And LIC continues to focus more on non-profit sharing policies. And out of that, again, they have in this uh, quarter's uh, balance sheet, if you are seeing, they have transferred a huge amount to the shareholder fund. That's right. Yeah, that uh, is that has been. Of that, what does this mean? That when you make such a transfer, that helps to increase, show your profit and uh, the, the, and uh, that uh, share in the profit, 
will go to these private uh, shareholders also. And that way in the market, the market share will not go down. The price of the uh, uh, LIC's share, they don't know, it has gone down drastically from the time when the shareholder share was issued. Okay. But now they are trying to arrest that. Because of that, they are transferring more funds there so that the uh, share value does not go down. Right. So if the dip in the net profit by 19% is on account of certain factors, which, as you said, the media is not highlighting or not highlighting them enough, then why is it such a serious issue if the that the philosophy behind how LIC makes its investments is changing. Uh, why does, why, if the net profit dip doesn't matter, then the, why is the change in its outlook towards its investments? Why is that so important? That is because of the government's uh, decision. No? Government wants to privatize LIC. They had earlier itself said that uh, this is only a beginning, this 3.5% uh, share. And they are waiting for an opportunity. So because of that, they are changing the uh, pattern of the LIC's uh, investments as well as the policies. Both are being changed uh, drastically. And at one point of time, they will show, say that, uh, see, the market share has gone down. The LIC is not doing well. So it's high time we privatize it totally. That is the aim of the government. This you are is the reason this for the... Yes. You, I'm sorry. You're saying this because we have seen it happen with, say, BSNL. We have seen this happen with other companies, which are, uh, or, you know, uh, the uh, national carrier, uh, Air India. So is, is that why you are saying that it could go the Indian Airlines way, it could go the uh, BSNL way? Definitely. The, the, both are classical examples and... Uh, we know that Air India, when uh, it had two airlines, Indian Airlines and Air India together, that time it was making a huge profit. And this government wanted it to, to run into a loss and the, the amount of concession they have given to Tatas, you can never imagine, common man does not know. They took the, the government took care of the loan that we will repay the loan so the rest you the, you take only the assets and for purchase of that asset they went for loan from state bank of india where the bank gave a loan at 4.5 percent which even a housing loan or education loan borrower does not get the loan at that cheap rate well, housing loan is yes. uh, up to 10 percent uh, in many banks a little higher at times when you compare like with this, it is definitely higher. The education loan is again 11%, 12%. That is going for the children whose future is in stake. But to a, such a big corporate, you are giving loan at 4.5%. And the purpose of make, showing loss of Air India was only to privatize it. The same thing, BSNL, it was making a huge profit at one point of time. It was making a profit of 8,000 crores per annum. But uh, just to help Geo one by one, they were not given earlier the uh, 2G auction. They were not allowed to participate. Even now they don't have 5G or even 4G. And they are asked to compete. Well, how can they compete without uh, uh, facilities which people want? So, the same way LIC is being uh, uh, slowly converted in such a way that the private insurance companies so far could not compete. The market share of the LIC was not going down. So, now they want uh, this to happen to LIC so that the private sector will flourish. And finally, you can also sell it off uh, in a platter to the private sector. In some segments of the life insurance market, uh, the LIC is actually losing its market share, right? Where the private companies are doing better. Uh, one of them would be the unit-linked policies, etc. 
Uh, could you explain what this means in the long term for LIC? And is this related to the policy shift that you were just talking about since uh, it listed on the market? See, the unit-linked policy is used by the, all the insurance companies. Uh, where there is a small insurance and uh, the amount is invested in the market or wherever uh, they can make profit and uh, their return has not been very great. But uh, as I told in the beginning, the single premium policies, the high value policies, where right. the competition is high. For example, one of the competitors today is SBA Life Insurance. SBI life insurance does not have to send people door to door through agents. They concentrate only on existing customers. And yeah. the customers, especially those who are coming for a loan, you yeah. tell them that you just want policy. They will gladly take because they want the loan badly. Right. So that way it is a walk in uh, uh, premium which is coming to SBI life and the similar. ICICI also has the ICICI prudential life uh, policy. For as LIC, it has to go directly to the market, directly to the people at their doorsteps. So the competition is quite tough for it. And in spite of that, so far, LIC is doing that. Well. So, so let's talk now about why you think it is important to keep LIC in the control of the government, in the control of the Indian public. Uh, is one of the reasons that, you know, very often you hear this news that LIC has given a check of X amount to the government. The latest figure was around 1800 crore rupees. Is, is, this, is, this, is this LIC a source of Income for the government is is that why it should remain within public hands? Definitely, LIC has been giving considerable premium to the uh, shareholders' profit uh, to the government continuously, but it's only small. When you compare it with the investment, which the uh, LIC was giving on the, for the government. For example, almost uh, uh, for many years, the budget, the loan taken, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, government in every budget, it is borrowing. And from where this money is coming, almost 50%, 30% to 50% used to be from the LIC. And if the government says that you invest in power sector, they were investing in power sector, infrastructure, infrastructure. Like that, for the development of the country, even if the uh, income might not be very high, LIC was contributing a huge amount every year. Now, if that is going to reduce step by step, and if they start investing more in the private uh, equity or private uh, markets, that is going to affect the development of the country as a whole, people as a whole. This is one major issue. Second is the, our country, when we compare with the other countries, where we are talking that we are growing, we are at the third place, our economy is doing well and all. What are the social security benefits we have in this country? Education is not free. healthcare is not free and uh, there is no assured pension majority of the unorganized sector they don't have a pension as security they don't have provident fund only those who are in the organized sector they get this employees provident fund there is no gratuity so you have a large section of the society which is vulnerable the government itself is extending the ration, free ration to 80 crore people. What does it mean? The government has accepted that out of the 140 crores, 80 crore are poor. Right. So to those people, you don't have any other social security. These are the people who are investing some amount in the LIC so that 
when the LIC policy matures, including they have this for the pension policy, which is an attractive policy. So they could get some income at their old age. Right. And uh, uh, that kind of a benefit, it is going to be lost because you are increasing the non-shareholder policy. So the income out of these small policies will be very meager for the people who are investing in the policy. So this is going to affect very badly. And uh, news has come today is another alarming thing is that uh, LIC chairman has stated that they have appointed Boston Consultancy Group as their consultant. This whole country is being now run by consultants. And LIC already had two consultants earlier. And their advices have not helped LIC. The last was Deloitte, and before that, there was a company called uh, uh, Bay Salon and Hamilton. They were advices to LIC for some time. And I have seen in State Bank of India, Boston Consultancy Group, when it was appointed as a consultant for uh, changing the uh, personal or human resource, resources policies, they came out with something called the career development system, which I term it, the association terms it as career destruction system. They brought in a formula where till that time, everybody was treated as equal. But they brought in a concept that 10 to 15% only will be performance, so you reward the performance. So 85% who are not rewarded, they become unhappy. Their performance goes down. This BCG does not bother. And they did not calculate the uh, employee requirement properly. This I pointed out to, to them in the presence of State Bank then Chairman Mrs. Saranda Devattacharya that there is a calculation mistake. They have taken, actually banks work for six and a half hours. Whereas they had taken the working hour as eight hours. So because of that, the number of people required it became less and they did not correct it. And because of that, today you see that the State Bank of India has a huge problem of manpower. There is continuous reports that the work pressure, the work life balance is so bad in the entire banking system, including State Bank of India, because of which people are quitting, youngsters are quitting from the bank. So this is the kind of policy which BCC will bring for LIC also. Delta already recommended that you reduce the staff and the agents. And uh, if that is done, that will be a real problem for LIC. The major uh, uh, policy is mobilized by the uh, agents of LIC, whose number is huge. And LIC staff, they are giving an excellent service in spite of so much of pressure. I have seen employees and my own wife uh, uh, was an uh, employee of uh, LIC. So I have seen how they give these services. But today, if you BCG is going to recommend that you, it is, you reduce the staff so that your profit will increase and LIC will gladly implement and that will affect the LIC as a whole. So these are the efforts which the government is taking, which is going to be very bad for the LIC. And my appeal will be to this government, if God, this government, the new government, which is likely to come, they should once again buy back this 3.5 percent of the shares. See, LIC is investing their own funds in many other shares. Right. So even government does not have to uh, fund it. Government has got that money. Right. They are happy. That amount, the three, the share can be bought over by LIC itself. LIC has sufficient funds for that. Right. So. 
once again lic becomes 100% public owned government owned and then the policies will change accordingly and that will help the people at large so just to understand you correctly one last time the 96.5% that the government has your worry is your concern is or your prediction is that over time this will be whittled down there will be a slow attrition as we have seen in india in other public sectors companies over the years no matter how big they are the companies seem to start clocking profits or if uh, uh, losses and if they are um, uh, making losses it becomes difficult to pull them out of that quagmire and you worry that if this happens then the losses to the economy and the losses to even ordinary employees of lic will be tremendous definitely and government has already announced uh, earlier the finance minister herself announced and uh, the divam secretary he keeps on saying that privatization is as per schedule it will definitely happen there are some slowdowns but we are very particular that the privatization to has to take place because this is a government which says that government has no business to be in business whereas lic is not a business it is a service banking is not a business it is a service electricity is not a business it is a service to the large uh, the population of the country they have, but if they start looking this at this as only uh, a business and hand over everything to few people that is also not given to a large number of people you are seeing that uh, you are promoting few corporates who are uh, using all dubious means of their business to increase their profit and uh, they get all kind of concessions from the government so as a policy this particular government is for the private sector and because of their all policies which will be dangerous for the country it will be dangerous for the people of the country so this policy has to be reversed from the policy of helping only a minuscule minority the policy has to change towards the majority in this country and in the case of lc this is what has to be done by buyback of the shares All right uh, Mr Franco thank you very much for joining us thanks for your perspective on the issue and thanks for also throwing light on what is actually worrying and what is not so worrying about the latest results of LIC thank you so much